Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it again. So today's episode, this is actually dedicated to, honestly, a lot of people that reach out all the time and say, Judge, give me ideas of other brands that are outside the state of Kentucky that I should look for either when I'm at a bar or a restaurant or if I just want to grab some bottles that I'm not used to grabbing. Can't lie, folks. I know this is going to gonna be shock a lot of people. There is a lot of great whiskey out there outside the state of Kentucky. Yes, I know it's hard. Kentucky is the birthplace of whiskey, of bourbon, right? Our American spirit, I get that. But there is honestly a ton of great whiskey outside the state of Kentucky. Yes, it does exist. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you six different brands, uh, recommendations that I think that you should look for either to try at a bar or just to go ahead and grab uh, bottles off. Cool? All right. Uh, last thing I will say, most of these bottles in these different brands, when you find them, they don't really break the bank either. So that's a really cool thing too. So they don't really break the bank. Um, they're not like super like highly allocated where they cost hundreds of dollars. A lot of these are anywhere from like 40, 50 up to like 75, 80 bucks. So I love that also from a price standpoint. All right. So I'm going to give you six different brands. Most of these are distilleries, but I think there is actually one or two that's just like a, a brand that actually sources their whiskey and then they do some finishing and so forth uh, for their own stuff. But for the most part, I'm giving you all distilleries. Cool? All right. These are not in order. So I'm not ranking these in order. I'm just grabbing six that I think are fantastic. All right. And the last thing I will say is there are a lot of other great brands out there that I'm not calling out today, such as like your Glens Creek, your Middle West Spirits, um, a lot of other great brands out there. I'm only calling out, of course, obviously just six to keep this list nice, short and concise. Fair. All right. Here we go. Let's go with number one. State of Maryland, Sagamore Spirits. So I love me some Sagamore Spirits. Why? So Sagamore only makes rise. Um, but when I think about Sagamore Spirits, even though they only make rise, they truly are a bourbon drinker's rye. Why is that? The reason why is that, of course, obviously the major and the primary ingredient in their mash bill, of course, is obviously 51% has to be rye, but the secondary ingredient in the mash bill for the most part is typically corn for them. So they truly use a high percentage of corn in their mash bill. So that's the reason why it makes it a little bit sweeter. And that's the reason why Sagamore is truly very much a bourbon drinker's rye. You can cross over and try Sagamore. Price very fair, about 60, 70 bucks, depending on which bottle you get. They do a ton of different finishes, no matter if it's like the port finish. Um, this one here happens to be the maple cherry cash finish, which is absolutely amazing, by the way. Um, but you can find Sagamore all over and the quality of the whiskey, delicious. Also, they're putting out a lot of like age dated whiskeys. They have like a eight year old and even the majority of the stuff that they have this day and age is six, seven, eight years old. Um, we just did a barrel pick myself and my good friends over at Stuff and Whiskey. Um, our barrel pick is uh, coming out actually in like the next week or so. So if you're interested, check us out over on Patreon. But I'm telling you the whiskey, the quality of the whiskey coming from Sagamore Spirit is flat out amazing. All right, that's number one. Let's go to number two, state of Georgia. Yes. ASW. Now this is ASW the Fiddler. This is the toasted rye whiskey, but you can try the toasted uh, bourbon from them. You could try their Georgia Heartwood. Love, love myself some um, ASW whiskey. Um, I think the one thing I think that's really cool about ASW as a whole is the fact that when you do find it, again, anywhere from like 60, 65, maybe 80 bucks. Um, I love the whole, like, you know, obviously Georgia, it gets very hot, not as hot as probably like Texas, right? It doesn't have that much of an effect, but just enough that their whiskey itself is definitely, you know, um, you know, from an aging standpoint, picks up a lot of great character from the barrels because of all that heat from Georgia heat. ASW, I'm telling you, this is a distillery to be on the lookout for. That is number two. Woo, let's keep this party moving, Judge. Let's keep it going. All right, number three. So the brand itself is actually based out of the state of Mississippi. That's where the owners are. Um, but they, of course, obviously, they're not a distillery. Unlike these other ones, they're not their own distillery. But they, they do source their whiskey, and then they do some finishes and so forth. So number three on my list, none other out of the state of Mississippi, K. Luke. Yes, Jonathan Mezano, the owner of the K. Luke brand. This gentleman I've had, I think I have now, gosh, five bottles I bought from uh, from K. Luke for, you know, or other whiskey, I should say. I got them in different places. But K. Luke is on the map. The whiskey is amazing. And I'm telling you, Jonathan Maizano, he knows what he is doing. 
absolutely great, fantastic whiskey. This one here, which one is this one? This is batch eight. Batch eight of their, uh, yeah, this is the uh, high rye, low rye blend. Batch eight, was this, which is just, I mean, oh my gosh. Okay, Luke, stop it. All right, real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are some of your favorite brands outside the state of Kentucky. And last but not least, please make sure you also uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Fair? All right, here we go. Cheers. Mm. Woo! Drinking this Sagamore Spirit. I'm telling you, great quality whiskey. All right, let's keep it going, Judge. What is number four and why, Judge? What's number four and why? Number four is a distillery um, in the state of Indiana. They were originally known for their rise, but now their bourbons are also on the map. And I'm telling you, they are on the map. Uh, this is a distillery that I haven't actually had a chance to visit in person yet, but is definitely on my list, my target list for 2024 to visit them. I have enough of their whiskey to validate that their whiskey is good across the board. This is hard truth. This is hard truth. This is their sweet mash rye. But again, they have like various different bourbons. They have some finished bourbons. They have their bottled and bond bourbons. I'm telling you folks, hard truth out of Nashville, Indiana is here to stay making fantastic whiskey. This one actually is a single barrel that I did with my good friends, uh, Todd and Andy from 21090, check them out, as well as my buddy Chris from Bourbon of the Week. Check out Chris as well, make sure you guys check out those channels. This is our single barrel. We have some bottles left over at Shared Pour. If you're still interested, feel free to go ahead over to Shared Pour and uh, grab one of these. Absolutely amazing quality whiskey coming out of hard truth. That's the number four spot. Two to go, oh boy, Woo. two to go. Mm -mm -mm. I know which one I want to end with. I know which one. All right, here we go. Coming to the number five spot. So this is a brand, I've heard about this brand for years. A lot of my patrons are out of like this state or the neighboring state and they're like, Judge, why have you not tried this whiskey? Until finally, I did try it on a few different occasions and actually one of my patrons, one of my good friends, my buddy Paul, actually gave me a bottle. I reviewed it on the channel. Journeyman Distillery out of Three Oaks, Michigan. I'm, I'm truly now a fan of, of uh, Journeyman Distillery. This by itself is the Corset Whips and Whiskey, their wheat whiskey. Um, this bottle itself, a castring single barrel, was just, if you like a wheat whiskey, I'm telling you, please try Corset's Whips and Whiskey. Absolutely great quality whiskey. Everything that you want in a wheat whiskey is, uh, as well. And what I love about Journeyman Distillery is they do everything themselves, right? They, they obviously, they distill their own whiskey, they age it on site, barrel and so forth. Um, great quality whiskey. And honestly, again, it doesn't break the bank, right? It really doesn't. I think this bottle, my buddy Paul told me is like a $65, $70 bottle maybe. Doesn't break the bank. Great quality whiskey that you can get. You can find it locally. You can find it in certain stores online. Journeyman Distillery out of Michigan. All right, last but not least. So judge, why is this one last but not least? So this one is actually where I'm headed to tonight. Flying out tonight, later this afternoon rather, flying out later this afternoon, doing a barrel pick. Me and 10 of my patrons, 10 of my good friends, we're doing a barrel pick for our channel, for our, uh, our uh, Bourbon Judge patron community. We're doing a barrel pick here. And uh, let's just say I've had numerous barrel picks from this brand before, but what they're doing, they're doing something a little bit different and it is absolutely amazing and it's changing the game in America from a whiskey game perspective. Number six, JT Mellick. Yes, good old rice whiskey. <laughs> I'm telling you folks, JT Mellick is here to stay. They've changed the game with this rice whiskey. If you've not had this, do yourself a favor, grab a pour at a bar. If you see it online, grab a bottle. Normally their single barrel stuff is like 60 bucks, 55, $60. And the quality of the whiskey, it is absolutely outstanding. Hence the reason why me and some of my patrons are going to do a, a barrel pick. So again, if you're interested in becoming a patron, go ahead and check us out. But even above and beyond that, JT Melnick is producing fantastic whiskey. And I'm definitely excited about our pick coming up tomorrow. Hey friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, most important, salute. Take care everyone, see you guys.